Hello everybody, where I'm about to take you is an abandoned rail line called the Montauk Cutoff. Right now I'm at the northern end of the Montauk Cutoff at a property that's leased to this small community garden called the Smiling Hogsmeade uh, Farm or Garden. And it's built right on top of the train tracks. This is Skillman Avenue in Long Island City. There's a little bike repair outpost here. These are the only parts of the tracks that are at street level. Here it is, the sign, the Smiling Hogshead Ranch. So this rail line was very active during the 1970s, but it fell under disuse and it got turned into an abandoned site. So this community garden has the lease right now. And now I'm going to go up to the main section of the Montauk Cutoff, which is right in front of me on top. So the Montauk Cutoff is only about a third of a mile long going to Sunnyside Yards on its northern end and connecting with the Montauk branch of the Long Island Railroad on the southern end. Here I'm able to enter. I'm going up to the train line right now. And here it is, the Montauk Cutoff. There's a seven train in the distance. This resembles the High Line in Manhattan before it was repurposed. There's somebody there. The weeds and trees and vegetation have completely grown over this segment. Forgot to show you some of the old signals and other train equipment that are still working. I have read articles that there are plans to turn, in, turn this into a public park or do something with the community. It's also home to some feral cats and supposedly some homeless embankments as well. And graffiti artists. There's an abandoned sofa.
there was a cat I just spooked or spooked me rather Right now I'm over a bridge. This is Hunters Point Avenue or 49th Avenue. There's another cat. It is kind of strange that something like this still exists in New York City. Here's another bridge. Looks like the sides are rusted. This is 50th Avenue and above me is the Long Island Expressway headed towards Long Island as well as the Queens Midtown Tunnel. I have no idea what this is. like you're even still able to access this train line from the street with that ramp there. There's no fence or gate blocking this abandoned train line at all. Here's some trees growing right in the middle. Here's another bridge. This is Borden Avenue. There's another cat up ahead. Here is Newtown Creek. The tracks go right over Newtown Creek. It is fenced off here, but I won't be proceeding any further because of the safety concerns. There are gaps in the tracks and I don't want to fall through. I'll make my way back towards that ramp I saw earlier past the Long Island Expressway and make my way down from there but it's 
a really neat place. They should really do something with this line, at least turn it into a park or a pedestrian space. Or even just leave it the way it is and make it a hiking trail with um, and renovate it for safety measures and put it in good condition. Reactivating it as a rail line could be an idea as well, but the thing is it's not a very efficient rail line because it loops around in the same direction from Sunnyside Yards all the way down towards Brooklyn. It's a very unknown place. There's only one other person on this whole route that I saw. If anyone wants to walk the High Line, you can do so in Long Island City with this Montauk cutoff. It's not the same experience since it's not developed or anything, but it is a wild section of abandoned rail that is hard to find in New York. It's unbelievable again that this exists to begin, begin with. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna make my way down from here. I do want to be a little bit careful because the traction isn't as good on these rocks and the loose dirt. Now it's getting more steep. Well, that's it for the Montauk cutoff, everyone. You can access it at 25th Street and 50th Avenue or on Skillman Avenue, a little bit past Hunter's Point Avenue. There's the Montauk cutoff from the bottom. I'll just walk over to 49th Avenue to give you a sense of what it looks like from the side. I think I just saw another cat in the bushes there. This is 49th Avenue and 25th Street. Traffic is very busy here, that's for sure. Here 
here it is, the Montauk cutoff. Looks like there's a path going straight ahead into somewhere. Looks like someone may have set up shop there, but the Montauk cutoff continues that way. And I'm going to make my way onto Skillman Avenue show, so I could show you where the entrance where I entered from was. So this is Skillman Avenue and 49th Avenue, also known as Hunters Point Avenue. The Long Island Railroad Hunters Point Avenue's train stop is just a few feet in front of me, as well as the number seven train Hunters Point Avenue subway station. Here is Skillman High School to the right of me. In front of me is the Montauk cutoff as well as the spur that leads towards Sunnyside Yards. The Citibank building is in the distance with the number seven train turning from the Court Square subway station heading to Hunters Point Avenue. Here I am again, the Montauk cutoff with another route you can climb on the side to the tracks over here. There's also another path going that way. Here's the condition of the overpass. Looks like some of the structure is uh, in need of a good painting and restoration. And here's where I entered. Anyway, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that tour of the Montauk Cutoff abandoned rail line. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and stay tuned for some more videos. Take care. And look at that, there's a Long Island Railroad or Amtrak making its way towards Sunnyside Yards. Nice horn action. But take care everyone.